Welcome back guys to another video. Today we're here in Bangkok, Thailand and we're gonna be trying some of the most spicy food in this city at Mark Wayne's restaurant. I'm joined by Sad for being named Sad. You're not such yeah. a sad guy. Mm, sad but uh, with double A, S double A B. Sad. Not like uh, in English sad maybe it means uh, like you are not happy but in Arabic it means you are the happy man. We're gonna be eating the most spicy. Can you handle spicy food? Yeah, of course. It's your first time on the boat canal yeah. and your first time to Bangkok. It's my second day here. So let's hit the water and get over there. My name is Bert. I traded my drumsticks in for chopsticks and now I'm on a journey around the world to explore music, culture, food, and live life to the fullest. I just got on the party boat here in Bangkok in the canals. It's a great way to get around here. You just really want to go on your own and not be taxied around and charged an arm and a leg for a ride. Convenient, faster, you're not stuck on the road. As everybody knows that in Bangkok is traffic. This boat is a great way to get around in Bangkok. There's so many different connections. It's almost like an MRT, except a little bit slower. You can see all the local life along the canal. And I just think it's the best way to get to see Bangkok, honestly. Just like Istanbul, you take the boat and you really feel like you're part of the city. This is a canal that was built in 1864. Very affordable for all the locals and it's comfortable to ride the boat compared to riding in a bus or something else. I'm living in Istanbul. I take a boat there as normal because every day we have to use that to, to go from the European side yeah. to the Asian side. Hey guys, we just made it off the pier. It's about a 30 minute walk from the pier to Mark's restaurant. Let's go. My friend Saad, we're gonna go into 7-Eleven to try to buy something that can neutralize the spice. This is a good milk from Japan, yeah. but it's made here in Thailand. Let's yeah, go, yeah, we're gonna okay. bring this to our okay. spicy challenge because I think we're gonna need it. This is an emergency. You don't know how spicy it really will be. Finally, we have made it here to the um, the guy right here, the yeah. statue, but uh, right behind us is the restaurant. Are you excited? Yeah, we uh, finally of made course, it. Of course, we're gonna invite you gotta our, invite him, our, our new friend. His arm is in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. The restaurant is just right over here. It's right next to the subway station, so it's not a bad way to come to here with MRT. It's a bit farther when you go by boat, but it was fun. It was a fun boat ride, right? Yeah. We're almost there. Oh wow, it's very, very crowded here. What's your favorite dish here in the, in the restaurant? Chicken curry, spicy, buffalo, meat spicy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, one pork less spicy. This is a chicken, very spicy. And so you can handle the very spicy one? That's right. I just took a bite of that. It's fine for now, but I'm Indian and we eat a lot of spice, so it doesn't matter for me. I have a flight tomorrow, so I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to you know, have too much spice and then I'm going to have like some problems. I think you should. Um, Go easy? Be careful. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Depends how much spice you eat. I, I noticed the milk bottle. You didn't get spicy today, right? No, I got the Wagyu Shang Piper Pearl. Um, I typically don't eat spicy, so I chose level one. Usually I don't handle a lot of spicy, but um, this level two, like I, I can handle. There's still a little bit of kick, so I think anyone who doesn't eat spicy should at least get level two if they can handle a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was super wonderful and great. That was our Mark Wien's impression. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had luck before, so I, I think this is my first time, if that's what it's similar to. We got the no spice version, and it was still really flavorful. Yeah, I liked it. What's the most spicy thing you guys can handle? We can handle spicy. No, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I can handle medium spicy. I'm, yesterday I had just like toast. Yes, like my stomach's gone. We got the chicken very spicy right now. We have to wait for the other ones. I just love how they got the egg cooked down to perfection. It's not at all overdone. In America, we got yellow kind of eggs, but yeah. these ones are just the deep, dark orange that you I'm really angry. want. I'm angry, bro. Very hungry, yeah. yeah. It's dark, bro. <laughs> yeah, starving. Chicken only little, but maybe the other things are all is spicy. So this is the actual most spicy one. Here we go. Let's see what it's like. I am excited. I'm 
spicy, bro. That is so very spicy. good. It's spicy, but not crazy spicy. I was expecting it to be a lot more spicy, to be honest. Yeah, this is the pork, but less. <coughs> it's a little bit spicy. But I'm gonna try the less spicy right now. Not spicy? It's very good. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah. After having that spicy one, that's not spicy at all. Oh, thank you. It's so spicy, bro. I don't spicy. think I need the milk. The milk is not necessary. I've been to more spicy Thai restaurants. Yeah. It is very good quality. Yeah. I will say this is very fresh vegetables yeah. that they add to it in the kitchen and they yes. cook it up really nicely. Sounds like it. <laughs> you like it. You like the spicy one. Yeah. I'm gonna get two chilies in one bite though. A bit more spicy than the first bite, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Very fresh chilies, just amazing assortment of the basil, the chili seeds are in there, everything. They don't hold back here. These kinds of chilies could really vary. Sometimes they're very spicy, sometimes they're not as spicy. So yeah. it really depends on the season, depends on the day. These guys might have gotten the shipment in and it's not that spicy. Mm. We want to see if this is actually getting spicier as I go. So would you come back here again just to eat it? No, I would take the less spicy, not medium. My last day is spicy yeah. food. <laughs> Today is my last day. Some people, they can't eat that kind of spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah. For me, it's very spicy. <laughs> so for Morocco, is this as spicy as you could ever get in Morocco? Or do they not no, normally no, eat like this? No, we don't eat like this. We have a spicy, but not very, very spicy like this one. Mm. Something, you know, like maybe it's the less spicy here. Yeah. That's what we eat. The mild one was a little bit too mild for me, so I just added a little bit more of the spices. That's the, I believe this is vinegar, or it could be a um, fish sauce. I believe it's actually fish sauce with some lemon and garlic in it and chopped up chilies. Mm. You should try with fish sauce. Just do a little bit. Like this? It's fish sauce. Yeah, yeah, put it on the rice and, and then try it. It's only spicy, but where is yeah. the fish sauce? The fish okay. sauce is the liquid. Uh, yeah, I put on this. So yeah, try the fish sauce and tell me what you think. Because this is traditional Southeast Asian. Having fish sauce is like the most common thing to have. That's why they have it right there. Some people don't like it. What do you think of the flavor of the fish sauce? It's weird, right? You, you don't like it. You don't have anything like that in, in Turkey or in Morocco, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's something that is acquired taste. It's like a cheese, yeah. fermented, and it's a funky flavor. My first time in Asia, I just discovered these things, you know, crocodile, scorpions, yeah. <laughs> insect, everything. I never saw that. Even in Morocco, we have a different kind of food. Uh, I'm living in Istanbul, in Turkey also, different food. Some people hate fish sauce. I like it. Next time, if someone say to me, put fish sauce, I you know to not to try it. Yeah, I say to you, thank you. For such a nice restaurant, it's not that crazy priced. It's, yeah. it's expensive for Thai standards, but it's not very expensive. The chicken was like one chunky but it's less than uh, four bucks. Right? Four bucks, yeah. You don't trust House and Root. When you get out of Kalsen Road, you can find a lot more good food on the street. I would say that if you just mix a little bit of rice with every bite, it's not too spicy. You it's just like a normal dish. Yeah. This is also very good, the buffalo. The buffalo just had the best all-around yeah. flavor. I think if I came back here, I'd probably order the medium spicy buffalo again. I think that's yeah, a yeah, good balance. Good. The less spicy one is just kind of boring to me. It's good, but it's not spicy enough. Yeah. Quick update after eating it, just insanely spicy. I mean, I don't mind. If, if there was more rice, maybe definitely it's possible. Yeah. But the portion of the, the meat is way more than the rice. So it becomes a little hectic. More of a throat spice than a mouth spice. Like my tongue and my lips weren't burning. It's like a burned spice yeah, that hits right. your throat very strong. I think that's a good description, yeah. Body spice, like you know, you start sweating, you start feeling really hot. Maybe there's some ginger in here, but like there's mostly like just the spice and then the basil yeah. and then the other things. But I guess I don't really taste any ginger, but it's almost like a gingeriness to it. The signature one and the less spicy, I think would be perfect for everyone. But this is like seriously not for the faint heart, definitely. Look on our plate, bro. We eat only the spicy and we leave the rice. We are more stronger than the Indians. It is significantly more spicy than the mild one. Bring with you cola. Yeah, honestly, guys, I'm gonna have a little bit of this. Water milk. also. And now he, he opened his milk. It actually is pretty spicy. Like, yeah. once you get the right pepper, it gets to be spicy. That's good. Yeah. This is yours. Yeah.
they were really nice. They ended up giving us this coconut water and pineapple yeah. juice. Let's uh, let's give it a try. Oh, it smells great. It smells like very fresh yeah. coconut. Very refreshing, nice coconut. It's it's just like having coconut straight from the actual coconut. So coconut water. It, it tastes a little bit sweet though, but it could just be that the coconut is sweet. Finish this one, and it actually completely killed all the spiciness from like what was going on in my throat. So yeah, coconut water does help with spice a lot. Milk helps. Did the pineapple help kill the spice? Now it's okay now. Uh, yeah, the, you're not. After the milk, I don't feel the uh, spice. Thank you guys so much for letting me go in the kitchen. Cup of cough. Tell them our beans, I said hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's always traveling for food. <laughs> bye bye, Kapun Kap. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Very Aroy Mak Mak. I'm here joined by Saad. He's a fellow YouTuber that's based in Istanbul and he's from Morocco. So, yeah, now we're gonna go to the Fortune Town and check out what they got over there. A lot of uh, electronics and stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna take the subway, I think, yeah. and then get over there pretty fast. 